Hello everyone, my name is Collins from City Technologies and today we'll be teaching you or be showing you the differences between J Option Pane. This tutorial is uh, basically for students, uh, uh, my fellow students. Um, like uh, some of us do get um, uh, some of us do get uh, assignments uh, for Java object oriented uh, uh, programming systems uh, to develop systems uh, under the Java OO. Uh, sometimes some universities or some colleges or some lecturers uh, do require you to use um, Java NetBeans uh, which is uh, a much more uh, uh, flexible to work with. So today uh, that there, there's something that I want to make clear to some of um, some students they actually do get stuck uh, trying to decide uh, de decide which method they want to use to develop their systems on uh, Java NetBeans so um, in Java NetBeans there are two main uh, methods that you can use to develop your system or your assignment especially your assignment which is not um, a full-time functioning system even though it's a, um, a semi-functioning system so uh, there are two major methods that you can use to develop your system which are J option pane and J frame so J option pane is just a dialog message a dialog pop-up message that only takes in one single input per time so once the dialog bus comes up you can only put only one input so that is how J option pane was designed and J frame is the one that has graphical user interface which is the GUI which means that in this uh, session or in this method you can design a full functioning system that contains that links to database as well and have a customized design for your test so you can add in several buttons and several text field and several functionalities and design to your taste or to your requirement in this JFrame you can do a lot of things and it takes as much input as you want so that is the difference between J frame and J option pane. So I'm going to show you example of the J option uh, pane and the J frame. So uh, basically, I'm going to use uh, one of the system that I developed to show you example. Um, like this system, this example now is for J option pane. So uh, let me run it and uh, I'll show you. So uh, this is it. Pop is just a dialog box. So now that it has pop up, it's going to ask me to select uh, which function that I want to use. And um, so this, uh, if I want to go for the system admin, I will select system admin, which is one. So I just put in one, and it will require the password. If I want to go for doctor. I select two, I put in two and it goes for doctor. If I want to go for hello world, I select three and it goes to hello world. So if I want to go to view active programmers or if I want to exit, I put five and I will exit. So this is basically how a uh, J option pane works. So this is the code for J option pane. this is the uh, exemplary code for J option pane so this is a J option pane dot show input dialog or show dialog message uh, so uh, basically if you type uh, J option pane dot uh, pane if you put dots it's going to show you the varieties of the things that you can add on J option pane about uh, uh, base, bottom alignment, cancel option, center alignment, closed option, a lot of things that you can add here and all these uh, methods. So there are several things that you can use J option pane to do but the uh, peculiar or the unique thing about it is that 
it only accepts one input per time. So that will be it for um, J option pane. And now we'll move over to uh, J frame. So um, this is J frame. You can see that I have a very beautiful design here. It's uh, fully customizable to your preference and you can do whatever you want you can put whatever photo or whatever color text design that you want here and uh, you can customize the functionalities and almost everything so uh, basically how it works is um, for instance I create a new pro project so you select Java Java application next so you name your project um, I'll name mine XYZ and uncheck this so it's going to tell me the folder that it's going to save my project on. So I I say OK. So uh, after creating the project, it's going to come here. And at the default package, I can do my development in the default package, or I can as well create a new package. But let's go ahead and do the development here. So what I'm going to do is once you come to the project, you go to source packages you will see default package either you create a new package or you use this default package so I'm going to go there I'll right click and I'll select new I'll select J from J form so this J form is basically a uh, J frame J frame form is basically the J frame functionality so if I select it it's going to ask me to name my uh, frame I'll name it uh, so I click finish I didn't put any package here so it's going to save it at the default package so basically this is my J frame it's still loading finish this is my J frame I can do any type of design that I want so for instance I select a panel and uh, put it here and then I change the background color uh, select this so let's change the background color to maybe something like purple or whatever so you see that's the design then we can select another uh, uh, panel and put here and this we can also customize the background color uh, let's choose uh, something uh, like green uh, this is too bright so maybe blue okay so basically that's it I can do whatever design I want on this page and I can add buttons uh, this button I can name it login or whatever So I can uh, increase the uh, font and uh, I can change the color of the button as well. I can almost do whatever I want. I can put text field here as well. Uh, select text field and put here. So I can put label as well. Maybe put this at the label, put it as a username. So I can edit the um, the font type and uh, the size and whatever. So username and this also I can edit the put it as thirty six. So clear the text here. So uh, maybe replicate this hold odds. I'll choose another label. Choose another label here, and this one. And we're going to name it a uh, password. So we're going to change the uh, font size. Change it to this title board and the size to 36. So we choose a password um, field here and put here and this one will put it as 36 and yeah clear the text inside
so we can put this as login and we can change the background color of the login since it's login we can put it as green and uh, that's it so so uh, basically what I'm going to do is to center this um, this form so whenever I run the program it will appear at the center so I go to code and generate center I'll generate resize code so I'll save my program so after the program finish saving I can now run my program so that's it the program is running now so you can you can see that's uh, what we just designed and this is just basically design after you finish your design then you start the coding which is the implementation of the functionalities so you have to uh, declare variables for these fields and declare variables for the login button so you can be able to relate it to this field once user key in put in something here and you click here it should bring you to uh, the main page or another page and it should as well validate the login credentials if it's wrong it will tell the user that it's wrong if it's correct it will bring you to the uh, relevant pages so um, that's that's how you know the differences between um, JFrame and uh, J option pane so when next you're developing your program you're doing your assignment you should choose or you should ask your lecturer which one they want you to use or if they will permit you to use either of them so you have choice to uh, select which one you want to use so and um, yeah so the the so the difference between two of this uh, method is J option pane is um, straightforward you just develop the code and run it uh, but this one takes time this one is a little bit easy J frame is a little bit easier than J option pane uh, but it takes time because you have to do the design first after you finish the design then you will start coding the implementation which is a lot of time it consumes a lot of time but J option pane is it's much more harder but um, doesn't consume as much time as uh, the J frame so um, that's that's it. That's it about this uh, tutorial. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. If it's uh, useful to you, uh, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. But um, if it's not useful to you as well, give it a thumbs down, and uh, give your comments down below and share the video as well. And um, let me know what you feel about this tutorial and give me your suggestions of uh, what you would like to see next. And um, do not forget to subscribe as well.